When I was growing up, every millennial wanted to be a marine biologist, including myself. Realistically, I probably wanted to be a cowgirl. I wanted to be a fighter pilot in the Air Force. So when I was very young, I wanted to be a teacher. I didn't know what I wanted to be, but I knew I liked to work with my hands. So I actually thought about becoming a chemist. Doctors get to help one person at a time. Where an engineer, if they do things right, they can have a bigger impact. My name is Drew Tarnigan. My name is Mindy Farrell. Cassiano Armenta. Rekha Rao. Jason Brelsford. Nikki Carpenter. My name is Karina Munoz Ramos. I'm a nuclear engineer. I'm a systems engineer. I'm a mechanical engineer in facilities. I'm a chemical engineer. I am a R&D mechanical engineer. I am the electrical lead for the W80-1 system. I am a mechanical engineer in facilities operations. In the beginning of my career, I did have those little checklist boxes and stuff like that. And I was striving to have the job that I'm currently Currently in. It's fun, it's dynamic, it's, it's always changing. I think it's important that people like me or young girls see themselves represented in, in technical fields. I've been sitting in this role and just trying to savor the work that I do and really learn and grow my knowledge. You never stop learning. I've met people that have been here 40 plus years and they're still learning something new every day. How can we push the envelope of how our systems can perform? This equipment needs to stay up and running to meet the needs of our customers, which are the scientists and, and engineers doing research for the country. The thing about working at a place like Sandia as a researcher is every day is challenging, but it's challenging in a good way. We have so many constraints, kind of using our principles of always, never. All of a sudden what becomes really simple gets very complicated. The interrelationships and the level of collaboration that we perform here. We're trying to understand things no one else understands. We're trying to solve problems. A puzzle with too many pieces and you have to decide which parts you want to put in and which parts you want to leave out. And it's really fun to solve it that way. And getting all of that to mesh just perfectly to cross the finish line. You get the remarkable opportunity to contribute to the most important human endeavors. As part of a national lab, I think we make our country a safer place. With all the domino effects of things that we do here, it does have a tremendous impact. My role in these endeavors is small, but in each of these really big areas, reliable electronics are needed. And I help perform the experimental testing to demonstrate their performance and to help design them to be better. I've been at Sandia 34 years, and so for me, that's kind of an accomplishment to have the same job for that long. Professionally, I think one of the biggest things I would probably achieve is if I became a professional engineer. You know, you get out of school, you're so excited, and you're gung-ho, and you want to learn and do your best and really just change the world. Doing fun things at work every day, still excited to go to work. It takes a lot more time to really develop those skills to make changes. A lot of hard work for me to do it. So I think professionally, that was one of the biggest achievements. Now, looking back on it, I wish I had slowed down a little bit more and really cherished kind of like where I was at.